The displacement hull is the go-to sailboat hull and it's the classic. And I guess you have a pretty good understanding of what a displacement hull is, but if you don't or if you just want to get yourself back up to speed again, uh, here's a video where I go in detail and explain what a displacement hull actually does. And I'm not going to keep you waiting, so I'm going to give you the definition, my definition of the displacement hull straight away. So here it is. A displacement hull is a boat hull design that uses buoyancy to support itself. So not dynamic forces like lift, but buoyancy. And it needs to be very uh, round and bulky in order to do so. It's par partially submerged, so it lies inside the water and it pushes water aside when moving. And this makes it very stable and very reliable and very comfortable also because it cuts through the waves in a sense, but it has very little resistance because of the roundness of the whole shape. But it's also very slow because it has to push us all this water aside. So this video is going to be all about the displacement hull. I'm also going to do a little demonstration of what to think of when we talk about displacement, what it actually is. And this video is going to consist of three parts. So first I want to just quickly go over the features of a displacement hull. So what does it look like? what does it weigh, all that kind of stuff. Then I want to dive into how it actually works and why it's so comfortable and why it's fuel efficient because those are a couple of the advantages of the displacement hull. And there's also a couple of setbacks which I will discuss later on. And I want to talk about who actually wants to use a displacement hull. So who actually benefits from this hull type. Buckle up, we're gonna dive right in. This video is part of a larger series and I actually did a quick overview video. It's about all different hull types with 11 examples, with photographs we dis will discuss. It's up here, I believe. So first, let's start by exploring a bit of the features of the displacement hull and get a feel for what it looks like and feels like and what it does. So the displacement hull is mostly very round and very bulky. It's very bottom heavy, so to speak, and a lot of air inside, so a lot of cargo capacity. And it's a very reliable hull shape, a very smooth and elegant in, in its own way. Um, and it's very fuel efficient because of this, because it glides through the waves. And a couple of good examples of displacement hulls Obviously, nearly all sailboats use them, but also a canoe, for example. I, I don't know if you have a thought of that, but it's, it's, it is a displacement hull in its essence. And multi-hulls like catamarans are also a form of displacement hull. The multi-hull is a bit more buoyant and floats a bit more high up in the water, creating less resistance, which is why it's faster, but it's also a displacement hull. Here's a diagram of the actual displacement hull. And as you can see, it's very round and slick and smooth. And the bow is very, very, uh, very round. And uh, it gets a bit more bulky down the middle in the center. And aft, the transom is also pretty round. It has a bit of a curvature to it so to make it a bit more aerodynamic. But, um, well, not aerodynamic. How do you call it? Hydrodynamic? I'm not sure. The bilge, which is where the boat's bottom curve meet the sides, so to speak, that's pretty bulky and round as well, as you can see. So there's not very hard lines there, as you see with power boats. That is exactly why it's so comfortable, why it's one of the most comfortable hull types out there. But what it does do, it tends to roll to capsize very quickly, and that's why with sailboats at least, they add a keel, a long deep running keel that runs into the water and counterbalances the the tendency to roll. Because that roll, well, if you ever stepped in, into a canoe too quickly, you know what, what that feels like and it's not a good feeling. So sailboats uh, fix that by adding a keel. So what about its weight? Well, the displacement hull is generally pretty heavy. It's a sort of the whale among 
boat hull types I like the thing so it it's so fuel efficient because of its smoothness and so stable that it can be very heavy and can carry a lot of load and it just uses its buoyancy instead of power and energy uh, forward momentum like power boats to carry the load and the weight actually helps it to be more stable and unbothered by waves and roll and stuff like that I just wanted to remind you to subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos We're putting a lot of energy into this channel and I really really care about creating a good resource for sailors so how fast are displacement holes they're very slow they're one of they're the slowest hull type out there so generally between six to eight knots cruising speed they can go a bit quicker if you push them if the design is a bit altered or if it's a bit lighter boat but the thing with displacement hulls is they can't climb up onto their own bow wave so they whatever power you put into them they will not lift they can't generate the lift they will just plow even harder and harder through the water so this is one of the setbacks of displacement hulls actually they have a maximum hull speed an upper speed limit and the reason for this is that as it moves through the water quicker whenever you put more power behind it the resistance of the water will increase in the same amount so the force the draft which is the correct name I guess the draft will increase equal to the f the forward momentum so to speak so there's this tipping point where the two meet and where the bo boat just can't go any faster and that is what is called the maximum hull speed so how does a displacement hull actually work well it's like a giant air bubble and because of this air bu bubble it floats on top of the water and at the same time the boat pushes down the weight or gravity pulls it down is, is, that's the more correct way of seeing it and this submerges the boat just a, a little uh, which anchors it and makes it more stable it's more stable than other hull types and it's better at keeping course even when it's getting rammed or smashed by waves it doesn't matter the displacement hull just plows on like as nothing happens why is it so fuel efficient well it's because of the smoothness of the hull so it generates very little resistance with the water it can just glide off the hull and the buoyancy as well generates a lot of like well, not, I'm not sure what the correct term is I'm not a physicist but something like lift right so that it wants to float which makes it lighter just so it doesn't have to carry its own load which is why I refer to it as being the will so I wanted to do a quick demonstration of what displacement actually means and it's a cool concept and I have a little demo set up right there so I will refocus the camera and take you back there so I'm going to show you very easily what this displacement is so this line is the water line so to speak and this is our boat just imagine this is our boat so this is naturally buoyant because it's a big air bubble and displacement is actually is the same as the weight of the boat so whenever I put this inside the water and you measure the difference between this line and the new line that's the volume of the water is the same to the weight of this ball so let's put it in and see what happens and you can see it's about a tenth of an inch higher now something like that so if I were to mathematically calculate the difference the volume of the water that's my displacement so that's what the displacement actually means when you read about your displacement hull, the displacement it has, it's the same as the weight of the boat and it is the difference between this and that. So the displacement hull is the most reliable and efficient hull in rough water and it's the go-to hull design for ocean going vessels. Everybody that cruises, anybody that needs to cruise long distances and have to has to face rough chop, rough weather, uh, large waves, you want to go for a displacement hull. It's the most buoyant hull out there, which means it has the most floating power, so to speak. And it's the, also the hull with the largest cargo capa capacity. 
it's also a very classic design so I think it's been around for thousands of years it's probably one of the first hold types actually to um, successfully cross oceans and stuff but that's an assumption I haven't fact checked that so please do correct me in the comments below if I'm wrong. There you have it, that's the displacement hull as I understood it. If you have any remarks or any questions about it, please leave it in the comments down below. I'm happy to hear what you think. And if you want to learn more about other hull types, click on the video on the screen and it will show you all different hull types there are.